Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Captain D. Mac and this is Guitar Gone Mad. And today, finally, we're going to do our first guitar lesson. Aren't you proud of me? I know these people are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, all right, thanks, thanks. Okay. Yeah. But seriously, today is all about learning our first lesson. Not the 11th, but the first one. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Now, I'm not going to go into any mumbo jumbo today because the first video was me introducing myself. Necessary, I think. The second video was me explaining why there wasn't anything up and a little update, so a polite unnecessary maybe. Who knows, but I did it. Um, the third video, which will be up shortly, um, is a video. It's part one of a three-part series that was originally a 25 minute long video about the Circle of Fifths that has nothing to do with guitar at all. And finally, number four. Lucky number four, huh? Anyway, so I'm going to jump right into it today. No beating around the bush. No any of this. No nothing. Just me and you and this and that. Yeah. So, let's get started. Grab your pick. This is a pick. This is one of the most vital things to your guitar playing. Now if you finger pick, you know, I mean I can't do it so just skip this part I guess. But for everybody else, listen closely. Now I'm going to do an entire little segment on picks because there is a jillion and one different types and they all can make you sound different and play differently and it's um you know it's it's personal preference you know so but anyways let's learn how to hold the pick most important part okay you don't want to hold it too tight because this happens you don't want to hold it too loosely because that happens so um, how you hold your pick is really important it's uh it's gonna it affects everything, I'm telling you. Um, so, but you, you have to find a, a, a good medium, you know, a good in between, too hard and too light, you know. Uh, and as well as actually how to hold it, um, I started off holding it like this, which is really difficult to play with. But and you know, in the beginning, that's you know, I was experimenting and. Um, you know, I, I hope you experiment as well. And another thing, when you do find a a good pick holding position, don't set it in stone, man. Try out other things because you know you never know what type of style you're going to be playing. You know, and and you might have a more comfortable pick position for that style than the other one. So get your pick, put it in between your index finger and your thumb. Uh, you know, I, I sort of do midways there, but however you like. Like I said, my pick position changes constantly, sort of. <laughs> so find a good position, and then once you've done that, let's begin. Okay, so we're not going to do anything too crazy today, just a very simple introduction to guitar. What I want you to do is strum your guitar, okay? Take your guitar, and do that. That will show us, that will, that will tell you if you're holding your pick too tightly or too loosely, for starters. And secondly, it will give you a feel. So that's step one. 
do that for like five minutes if you want, however long you want. Once you've done that, we can move on to the next step. Now, uh, you notice that I went down and up, down and up, down and up. And I use my arm. Don't do that. Let's let's focus on the next exercise that will help you not do that. But the point of the matter is that I was going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's the idea of alternate picking. We'll get to that in just a second. Now, to make sure that you don't do look like this, which is really cool if you're rocking out sometimes, you know, but if you're just trying to play a song like, like a C chord, you know, not really what you want to be doing. So, let me show you how to fix that. Okay, with your guitar, with your guitar, take your arm and plant it right there in the very corner. And take your left arm and hold on to it. Okay? Now, scoot it back as far as you need to so that you are in the middle of the strings. You want your pick to be in the middle of the strings, between the bridge and the neck. Right there in the middle. I have a little marker here. It's a single coil pickup. You may not. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so right there in the middle. Now, take your arm and hold it. Press it down, like hold it kind of mid, mid forearm area, hold it, and then strum. Okay? Strum, 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 strum. Now, really put pressure on your arm, pressing down, and use just your wrist. That's what we want. Now, Another neat thing about doing this like this is that you can kind of tell how much stress and strain you're putting on your arm by how you pick. You know, if you're doing it like that, you can really feel it on your arm. That's obviously way too much pressure, so you need to, you know, make it as light and graceful as possible. But the idea of it all is to use your wrist. Just like that. Not your arm, but under an X exercise, we want to go and so forth. Now let's move on to alternate picking. Starting at the very top string, the E string. I want you to take your pick and play it. How about a little volume? Do that as long as you need, believe me. Everyone learns at their own pace, so keep that in mind. Now, the next exercise we're going to do is a, an alternate picking exercise. We're going to go just like this. Let me show you. I'm going to go down and then up. We're going to go down and we're going to go up. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Get the idea? I hope so. That's alternate picking. That's all it is. It's going from down to up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, I will show you why this is important in just a moment. Let's continue on. So, using your new alternate picking style that you just learned, do that. Go up. Remember, keep the arm firm. Well, not, you know, not like press up against it, but just firm so that you're just using your wrist lightly and gracefully pick in a downward motion on the E string and then back up in that same fluid motion, okay, until you can do this. Now believe me, I know it's probably sounding like this. Or something like that. Don't worry about it. Take your time. These videos are going to be here as long as YouTube lets me keep them on here. <laughs> So anyway, until you get that fluid motion, I want you to really focus on that, okay? Okay, so 
So for this exercise, um, it's a very simple exercise, nothing to it at all, but I wanted to choose a different kind of angle. So you're going to be seeing the fretboard and me picking, because it's a 50-50 kind of exercise. So I'm going to go back up and explain this to you. Okay, our first exercise is nothing difficult, complicated, whatever. It might take you some time to, to really get it down, and that's fine. I mean, believe me, you know, like I said, take as much time as you need. Anyway, all we're doing is we're going to start on the E string and go from E to E, down or up, however you want to look at it, the fretboard. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. All the way down. Or up. Again, whatever. Up in pitch, down in, you know, real world or whatever. And then we're going to go four, three, two, one. Up the neck. Or down the neck. Whatever preference you have. Now, before we get started, let me show you how to fret a note. The way to fret a note is you take your finger and do this with me. On any string, any fret, preferably one of these ones, um, just take it and put it right there in the middle of the note of the fret. Like, like aim for the dot. And then pick. Press down as hard as you can in the dead center of that fret. Do it, you know, in different places too. Get kind of accustomed to the different areas. And so forth. You can do that all day long, and believe me, I have. So if you fretted the note, it should sound nice and perfectly clean and whatever. If you haven't fretted it properly, it'll sound like this. Or... You can hear the difference between when you hit it in the middle and when you don't. When you hit it on that bar, it's like in between two notes and it's in limbo and it doesn't sound well at all. So dead center. Now, moving on to the exercise. The idea is very simple. We're going to, this is the exercise played in full. Ready? One more time. There you have it. Nothing to it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so on. One, two, three, four. That's all you gotta remember. If you can count to four, you can do this exercise. And then four, three, two, one. That's a very basic warm-up. A lot of people like to use it. Uh, it's easy, obviously it's way easy to remember. But check this out. I'm gonna kind of zoom in now on my on my hand. Watch, watch my wrist first off, because that's how I'm strumming. And secondly, watch my patterns. You can kind of count along in your head if you can hear it. So here we go. Ready? Watch. to it. Basically with each pass I start going down and then to the next note I'll go the opposite. Uh, so if I go down I go up. So first, down, second, up. Anyways, <laughs> so just alternating the going down and up or alternate picking. It's that simple. There you have it. 
Uh, and yeah, and it's a really great exercise uh, because it stretches out, you know, your hand. It uses this guy. More on him in a minute. So, you know, you really get to use the, your whole hand in this exercise. That's why it's so popular uh, because it is so easy and it kind of mimics a scale. And at the same time, you get a good little workout with your right hand, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's a win-win. So there you have it, guys. Nothing to it. Simple little one, two, three, four exercise with a little pop, 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 you know? Nothing to it. If you like this video, thumbs up. Don't worry about this button. That's... Nah, not important. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please tell all your friends. Anyway, subscribe, thumbs up, oh, and practice. Till next time, Captain D in my account. See ya. You don't want to hold it too loosely, because that happens. I'm looking for my pick. Have you seen my pick? As soon as I turn it off, I found it.